In this video, we're going to cover some of the Descript social video features that will allow you to pull clips from existing audio and video content and repurpose them as shareable videos in a variety of formats. I've got a project opened up here, and I've already uploaded a recording of an internal podcast that we've created, and it's automatically transcribed everything, as Descript normally does. Additionally, you can also record audio and even video directly within the Descript app. Now, there's a particular section of this podcast where there's an exchange between Brandon and Mike, and what I want to do is turn that into its own standalone video. So I'm going to scroll down to where I've highlighted a portion of the interview. I'm just going to highlight this section here. And now right-click. I'm going to select Clip to Composition and select New. And that will create a new page, or in Descript terms, a new composition just made up of that selection. To get started, I'm going to unhighlight this. Now, the first thing I want to do is apply fancy captions, which will display animated subtitles on the screen. I'm going to highlight the text for the duration I'd like the feature to appear, in this case, the entire clip. And I'm going to select the plus button. This brings up the conductor. And if you start scrolling through, you'll be able to see some of the other social video features like the waveform or progress bar. We're going to select fancy captions first. Now that the captions have been added, I can position them and scale them here in the viewer. I can also further fine tune the color and properties from the clip inspector right here. You'll also see that there are some really cool dynamic text generation effects. I already have it toggled on, but in this case, I'll toggle it off so you can see the difference. You can also filter the dynamic text by selecting the transcript. You can display the speaker label, composition name, marker, and timer. For now, I'll go ahead and leave it with the transcript on. You can also filter by speaker. So if you'd like to see the text just for a specific person, you can also filter that way. You can further customize your captions by even changing the font. One note here is that if you add fonts to your drive, all users in Descript can use the Google fonts, whereas custom fonts are only available to pro and enterprise users. When adding a custom font, you'll need to upload either a TTF or OTF file. From here, I can also change the fill color of my fancy captions. For now, I'll leave them as is. I can also even enable word level animation, which will allow me to change the active word color and future word color. Here, I might want to change this to this blue. I can even further customize it by adding a stroke, background, or a shadow color. For now, I'll leave these off. All right, let's take a look and listen. Mike, when you're listening, like, and, you, and you have your sort of technical... In this case, I might want to change the future word color to add a little additional contrast. Next, let's add a waveform. I'm going to select all, as I want the waveform to last the entire duration of the clip. I'm going to go to the plus button here and select waveform. From here, I can adjust the size and positioning as well by just mousing over and moving it around. I can also change the style. So let's take a listen and maybe we want to change this up a bit. Yeah, no, I think segs are really important. I, I think it's so easy for podcast hosts and guests to get into the, the, the weeds about something. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in the line format. I'm going to move it around here, maybe even change the sizing. I can also change some of the parameters here by adjusting the color, the stroke width, fidelity, magnitude, and even adding a shadow color. I'll leave it off for now. Next, we can add a progress bar. These are great for social videos and will help users determine how long a particular video is. Similar to how we added the other elements, I'm going to select all, select the plus button, and now we'll add the progress bar. Similarly, I can change the positioning of this. Maybe leave the captions where they are and I'll move the progress bar up here. I could also change the, the fill color and might want to change the background color and adjust the sizing. Let's see how things are coming together here. Mike, when you're listening like, and, you, and you have your sort of technical editor hat on. Yeah. Lastly, I might also want to add in our logo here. And I've already added it to my project files folder. Can access it from here in the sidebar. And if I select it, I'll be able to preview it right here. Once again, I'm going to select all. And I'm going to drag the file right on top of the script, wait for it to turn blue, and then drop it in. All right, 
Here, we might want to adjust the sizing. Drag it around. You can also add in other elements, such as a rectangle or an arrow, which are, of course, design choices that you'll need to make. I might want to add a rectangle behind the logo to add some additional contrast. Once again, select all. Select the plus button here. Find the rectangle. I'm going to change the sizing of this a bit. I'm going to shrink this down. Let me do the same with the logo. Okay, let's take one last look. Mike, when you're listening, like, and you, and you have your sort of technical editor hat on. And then when you're ready to share, you can easily export this as a video file. Just come up here to the share button, select export, and choose the video. From here, double check your settings and then export. And then from there, you can easily upload the file to various social media platforms. And just a few more tips. If you want to adjust the aspect ratio of your video from portrait, square, or landscape, you can easily do so by mousing over the video here and selecting the video settings. You can change the orientation from landscape to portrait or square. And of course, you'll just need to adjust some of the elements accordingly so everything fits properly. One tip would be is to duplicate this composition. And then for each duplicate, change the orientation so that you have a different version of the video ready to go for different social platforms.